It was over a year ago that I first had the idea to create some sort of route around Wales. Now, originally, I just wanted to know how far it would be if you went around the whole of the, the Wales border. And then that kind of evolved to become, well, what if you just went to the coastal points? So from where I live in the little village of Llangadog, just on the edge of the Brecon Beacons, the first point would be the western point, which I worked out is St Justinian's. Now this is the furthest point west that you can ride to, essentially. Uh, there are further points that if you want to walk, but for me this is going to be a, a road bike trip. So I wanted to know what's the furthest point that I could ride to. And then from there, it was North Wales. Now originally I had the idea of going up onto the North Wales mainland coast. And it was actually Dan, Dan Evans, the hill climb legend, who said, well, you need to go up to, uh, onto Anismorn, Anglesey. So I found a spot there, which I believe is the furthest point you can get to on the road. And there's a nice little church up there, which was good. And then down south, in uh, near Monmouth, there's a point here. And then finally, Roos Point. So by connecting all of those up, I finally got a route together. And it went quite close to Gospel Pass. So I figured, well, why not go over Gospel Pass since it's the highest road? So that was all put together. And then I had a route which was just under a thousand kilometers. And this became a challenge that I wanted to go and do. So I decided if I don't do it now, while I've got the chance, I never will. So I set off on what was going to be my trip around Wales. So it's just after half past five. The sun should be just rising and I'm heading off for what's going to be uh, quite a big ride hopefully at the moment though all i can think of is it's absolutely freezing oh gonna crack on hopefully i've got a i've got a climb straight away which will probably warm me up a bit and the sun is just rising so i'm sure i'm gonna be warm fairly soon So this is a beautiful little village of Amroth. What a view. Picked a nice time to do this route. Looking over there, you can see Tenby, Saundersfoot, called the island. I promise I'm not going to do a video of every single sea because there's going to be a lot. First point, this is St Justinian's, so the most westerly point that you could reach on road in Wales. And uh, it's a beautiful little spot, what you can see over there is just islands. So uh, I've been riding now for almost six hours, seem to have done okay. Average is about 20, just over 25 k's an hour. Uh, from here, longest leg next, heading all the way up to uh, near Amloch and Anismorn, Anglesey, which uh, is going to be quite a trek. Beautiful little bird. And not a bad view. So I'm just climbing out of Aberaeron, heading towards Aberystwyth. 240 k's done so far, so almost a quarter of the way through. So I just clicked over 300 kilometers and so uh, exactly 12 hours of riding. Recently passed through my hand left, now on the way to Abu Dhabi. Feeling okay. I've got no real uh, set plan. I'm gonna ride for maybe another couple of hours, grab some food, and then see how I'm feeling after that. But uh, the first 200 was really, really hilly really savage. This last hundred has been a lot better, a lot easier. So, yeah, feeling alright, bike's good. I'm feeling okay so far. It's one of the most beautiful roads in Wales. Looking ahead, you can see Snowdon around the Thien Peninsula. 
absolutely stunning evening. I'm very, very lucky. Not the most comfortable of bridges to ride across, but it is pretty beautiful. Just coming into Barmouth. In Barmouth, tucking into a really filthy kebab. Um, just waiting, I'm gonna finish eating here now and then do another few hours. Uh, obviously feeling a bit tired, but feeling okay to keep going for a bit more tonight. And yeah, we'll just see where we get to. See how I'm feeling. So no plan, nothing nothing fixed. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. I'm right in the heart of Snowdonia now. Just uh, up ahead to my right is Snowden. And that's a pretty nice sight tonight. I bet there's some people camping up on the top. Although it's gonna be a bit cold. So, uh, plan for me, I think. I've now got 380 k's. I definitely want to take it to 400, but my legs are starting to feel it. So, I'll uh, we'll see how it goes, see that where that gets me. I might try and find a late night petrol station or something to stock up on food and stuff. But uh, yeah, I've got about half an hour left before the sun sets. So I'll try maybe and stop before it gets too dark. Just crossing the Menai Bridge. So uh, I have made it to Anglesey tonight and I'm going to look for somewhere to kip as soon as I get over now. So yeah, made it just uh, basically just after the Menai Bridge, found somewhere to camp in here. Uh, totals for the day I think were just over 400, maybe 410, 415, uh, climbing just over 5,000 meters. Um, which sounds a lot but then um, I've, it just means that I've got about 10,000 meters in the last uh, 600 k's left so uh, that's going to be tough um, tomorrow well today today's been absolutely brilliant um, really enjoyed it some stunning views I was very lucky with the weather uh, some really nice roads the first bit was harder than I thought and then the last bit was flatter so it was a bit easier tomorrow is going to be very different lots of big climbs uh, including Bocha Grois, which is an absolute monster, and, um, and then Gospel Pass, and then we'll see, I should be able to get all those done tomorrow. I'm um, not sure how much further after that I'll get though. Uh, so far everything's been good, bike's been good, kit's been good, no uh, no complaints. Uh, not exactly sure what the time is now, but it's pitch black, but I'm going to get up when... Um, when it's light and when it's warming up, I uh, don't really have any clothes for riding if it's too cold. So, and then yeah, crack on and maybe similar kind of distance tomorrow, but might be a bit less given the climbing. So it's just after five in the morning and uh, just just getting up, starting to pack away. This is just uh, this is the setup I've got. Uh, Gatewood Cape, started packing already, so just um, been charging some bits up overnight. Only downside of this, this cape is there's a lot of condensation that gets inside it. So I'm just gonna try and fix that now before we head off. And, uh, and get cracking. We've got another, I think it's 20, 22 miles to the most northerly point, and then, um, and then head back, start heading back down. So I'm just, just heading off. See the sun's, sun's just popped out. So hopefully, uh, well, it's not cold at all now. And maybe an hour to. Or maybe just over an hour to um, to the most northerly point. So I made it to the most northerly point. It's another stunning little spot. This is Eglois Cloin Badrig, I think. Uh, Cloin Badrig Church. 
So just, uh, I think it's the most northerly road at least here in Anglesey. And uh, beautiful morning, just looking out, spending five minutes just enjoying watching the sea, watching the tide rushing out before starting my way back. I was saying my legs are not feeling so good at the moment. I'm hoping they're gonna pick up in a bit. Made it off Anglesey. I'm now on the edge of Bangor. And uh, I really didn't think that um, that Anglesey section was gonna be as long as it was. Should have checked the map a bit more. Uh, what I can say, is uh, my body wise, if you'd asked me a few few hours ago, I would have said that was terrible. Um, but it's true what people say, you ride into it. And I think that's right today as well. Just had a coffee as well and that's helped. So, uh, um, otherwise pretty good, my, my fingers are going a little bit. That'll serve me right, not paying attention. Just went the wrong way. Yeah, for me, apart from a little bit of uh, loss of feeling in my fingers, not too bad. Um, obviously, I, I am tired and my legs feel that a bit. I haven't got the same power as I did yesterday, but that's to be expected. And uh, hopefully, as, as time goes on, it can just get better. And uh, I've got some massive climbs today. And it's going to be really interesting to see how um, how I'm able to cope and I'm already worried about bottle price so we'll see it's been a nice little surprise didn't uh, didn't realize it on this this is part of route 82 it's like the alternative north to south wales such trans route and it looks like it's a, I think well, it is an old Railway line. I know I've got a big climb, so railway lines go up nice and gradually. So this is very welcome. So a ride like this, it's really important to have little milestones. It's such a big ride, you can't really think of it as if you uh, think too much of a ride like this. If you uh, if you think of it as a whole, it can get a bit too much to so break it down. So, one milestone today is getting past 90k. And that means now I'm over halfway of the total route, which is good. I'm also, well, I'm well over a thousand meters now today, but that was another one. And that means less than 9,000 meters left. So little things like that. Next milestone today, 100k. And then, yeah. Uh, nice to hit little towns and villages and they're nice little points uh, looking forward to lunch stop hopefully in Dolgethai my favourite cafe place in the whole world that's a couple of hours off yet stop until guess I to mark the 100 miles or 160 k's for today nice full belly only problem is I've now got a massive climb uh, or two two climbs one after the other so that's the next big climb up ahead it goes on quite a bit further than what you can see Not a bad view behind me. Looking up to Cadder. Those who've done Dragon Jathlon will know that one well. So I'm making up good time now, heading east, coming through Mid Wales. So I do have one omission. 
for saying that, so I decided to skip Borja Grice. It's just an absolute beast, and I don't think I'd be able to make it up it. I think I'd be walking, and I don't fancy walking in road cleats up a 4K, 20% gradient. But still, I'm gonna go do Gospel Pass. That's, that's still the highest. So that's gonna be later while. I might make it today, we'll see. So heading down through Mid Wales. Flatter, faster roads at the moment. And hopefully making up a bit more time and uh, picking up the average speed. Mentally, um, at a bit of a tough junction, quite literally as well. If I turn right here, I can be home in two hours. Done 265Ks today, I'll be home about 300. My mind's just telling me, it's still pretty good, 700Ks in two days, nothing to be ashamed of. I'm a bed sleeping. Nice food to eat. I'm a bit, well, you know, I'm, I'm really buggered at the moment, so mentally it's a really low point. I just need to think that uh, I know I won't be happy. Looking back, if I if I quit now, um, even though I've, I've still got 300 k's and a ton of climbing to do. If I quit now, I'll be gutted with myself. I'll be so annoyed. So I just need to try and keep pushing on and uh, try and stay strong, try and block that negative thoughts out. And I'll have a nice comfy bed to sleep in tomorrow. And at the end of the day, an extra day is, it's not, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much longer. So, yeah, push on. 270k is done today. And uh, I'm in a bit of a low point. Uh, only 25 miles from home if I took the short route. Or if I keep going, I've got 300k left. Uh, that's what you call a view. I'm not too far from the top, another 2Ks maybe to the top. Wow. Genuinely, I didn't think I'd get to the top of this today. I tell you what, what a difference a couple of hours makes. I was so low earlier on and just got some food down me and then felt so much better. Actually went pretty pretty well going up Gospel Pass and then had a bit of a tailwind and a long downhill. Uh, I was in Monmouth in no time. I managed to get some food here and it's not even dark and I'm heading off to sleep. But So I've got 210 Ks left to do tomorrow. And I reckon that should be should let me finish sort of just mid afternoon, which should be good. Uh, the only thing is tomorrow starts off quite easy, and then you go th I'm going through Newport and Cardiff, and then to the southernmost point, which is Roos. And then I've got a killer at the end going over the Bull, over the Rickos, and then over the Black Mountain. Three of the highest road passes in South Wales. So it's gonna be a bit of a killer finish, but hopefully by then I'll, I'll have some endorphin, um, I'll uh, have some adrenaline in me and uh, I'll be able to get up over them. Oh yeah, looking, well, kind of looking forward to it, looking forward to getting home. And uh, yeah, really pleased with how today's gone in the end after such a low point.
So I'm now by the most easterly road in Wales. Nothing too special, just uh, just a road. <laughs> well, there's quite a pretty little bridge over the Usk there, somewhere between Monmouth and, and Chepstow. I uh, made a decent start this morning, uh, just before, uh, or way just before sunrise, so cracking on, feeling all right. Got um, knees are quite sore. And I got a bit of a creak in the bottom bracket, but nothing that that I can't finish now today should be should be fine. And um, yeah, about I think 200 k's to go, so maybe oh nine ten hours, hopefully, not too long. I've uh, flown around Newport. That was nice and fast. Now fast approaching Cardiff which probably won't be as quick but uh, hoping to use my old courier skills to whiz through the traffic it was pretty early in the morning well just before nine so probably gonna be quite busy still feeling pretty good had a big breakfast extra coffees and it's about 150 k's to go so in the grand scheme of things, this is, uh, is the last little bit. Forgetting about the last big three climbs. So this is Roos Point and my last compass point on this trip. Most southerly bit on uh, in Wales that you can reach by bike. Looking over, I think that's all Devon. It's a nice feeling. So now it's just a small matter of 120 kilometers back home. And uh, quite a bit of climbing, but feeling all right. Spirits are high, I'll make it. Not sure if that's my knees or the bike. Hopefully not my knees. It's the top of the Ricos mountain. Absolutely stunning day. Amazing views as well. You can see over the Brecon Beacons, Penna Van. Banger here, Black Mountain, uh, and that's Clinavan, just over the top of that. That's home, 55 k's to go. When I uh, when I first came up with this idea for for the route and the trip over a year ago, I think it just seemed right that I'd finish on the Black Mountain. It's on my doorstep. I love it. I must have ridden it at least 200 times from either camp both sides and now this is the last hard bit what's been a pretty epic three days uh, a few more kilometers of climbing to do then a long downhill home Woohoo! made it So I'm back, finished, and that's that.